Pakistan's federal government spends over 8 trillion rupees on salaries, pensions and wages spreads for 1.92 million employees. Despite this, it lacks a clear understanding of their contributions and the impact on taxpayers. A recent study by the Pakistan Institute of Development Economics revealed that salaries amount to about 3 trillion rupees. Pensions take up 1.5 trillion rupees and project workers and government company employees cost 2.5 trillion rupees. The military's wages and salaries amount to 1 trillion rupees. Perks and allowances significantly raise the cost of civil servants, dispelling the myth of low public sector salaries. Judicial employees receive the most perks, while secretariat and ministry staff get 150% of their basic salary as an allowance. Although the judiciary gets the highest perks, the Pakistan Administrative Services, formerly known as DMG, is accused of manipulating special benefits, hindering other professional cadres' performance. The basic pay scale in Pakistan has had 12 revisions since 1983, with the latest in 2022, but none of them align with modern HR principles. The system favors Pakistan administrative services with non-monetary benefits, while technically and professional experts often receive lower grades and fewer benefits. Contrary to popular belief, civil servants are not underpaid. Their compensation goes beyond their salary with government housing, official vehicle use, medical allowances, and more significantly contributing to their total compensation. The study highlights that Pakistan is facing a growing financial challenge due to an abundance of unproductive government employees. Politicians often favor their allies in the public sector without public oversight, placing the burden on taxpayers. However, the cost of this political practice is rarely considered. Most political appointees hold unproductive roles and strain the budget, according to a study. The expense of poor recruitment is substantial, leading to financial losses and missed opportunities. The hiring practices of political governments in developing economies result from political motives, short-term thinking, lack of economic expertise, and societal expectations. The study emphasizes the importance of finding a balance between short-term job creation and sustainable fiscal policies for the country.